do a quick rundown of the stock list for the tank. Somebody asked me for a close up of the yellow yellow tail rasbora, so I'll get to those in a second. But the uh, the big guys with the black stripes, those are the wide bar silver dollars. There's eight of them. I think it's the males have that double hook on their anal fin. Kind of see that there's that double hook going on there and this one has like a single hook right there that one i might have that backwards the males and the females but apparently that's what differentiates the males and the females uh, there are about 12 aureus barbs these blotchy looking fish there are nine or ten filament barbs. That's a, a one of the bigger males. I think I have nine of the yellow tail rasbora. That's these guys. You can see there's a little yellow in their tails. They're not all that colorful. I kind of like them because they swim towards the surface. And I like having uh, fish that kind of stay at three levels of the tank, bottom, mid, and top. And these guys definitely, uh, they stay towards the top. There's the old timer. He's, he's in rough shape. They're all about 10 years old, so I don't know what their normal lifespan is, but... They're probably pushing it. It's a green Texas cichlid. It's a female. She's laid eggs a bunch of times. Got the albino Oscar. I've got about 12 or 13 clown loaches. Um, they go to bed early. At sunset, they pretty much all go into these ABS pipes. So I don't know can't really see them in there I think on the other on these pipes over here I saw one in there earlier uh, you can barely see his tail there's the chocolate cichlid that's kind of a newer addition to the tank I think I've had him for about a year and a half two years um, let's see what else is there. The Green Terror. He's been trying to, I don't know if it's mate with or what, but he's been following the chocolate cichlid around and kind of showing off and flaring. So I don't know what that's all about, but he's definitely interested in her. He's not doing it right now, but he has been chasing her around. Um, here's the red red tiger severum. Starting to color up a little bit. There's a pictus catfish that was a rescue. He kind of hides towards the back corner of the tank. Usually he's back up in here. Yeah, I don't see him. Maybe from this side. It's a green tear. Asking for pellets. There's a bristle nose in here. And I think that's about it. It might be, oh yeah, the, the red fin ballast shark. I started out with nine of these guys and when I first got the tank there was a really bad ick outbreak and I lost five of them so I had four of them for about seven or eight years but this is the last one so 
So that's the stock list. I'll do a video on the the filtration system and the heating. I kind of I'm more interested in that than almost anything. I like seeing how people filter their tanks and their their heating systems. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, that's the stock list.